Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome to Elite Dangerous. I'm playing Beyond, like I suppose the rest of you are, and I've dragged my way up all the way through the Imperial ranks to the rank of King. So you're a King. So what? What does that mean for you? So you've gone out of your way and you've done Imperial missions and you've delivered data. You've been given missions that put you outside your comfort zone. Assassination missions, perhaps. You've gone and delivered other items around the Imperial realm in an area of space. You've dragged your way up all the way through the ranks. You've got to Duke and you've got yourself that Imperial cutter, that most sought after and coveted ship and then realised, hang on a minute. What am I going to do with this? I can't take it to outposts. Where's your kingdom, if you're a king? And what does that mean? So you're a king of imperial space, a highly lauded title. You are a monarch of the imperial realm. So what are you king of? Your ship? Well, I mean, you could be king of an asp. You could be king of a sidewinder. You could have an imperial cutter. Who knows? And these are questions I've been asking myself while I've been going through and filming my Reboot and Restart um, series that comes out every Saturday. What does it mean? Okay, so you go to the ranks and you can get a better ship eventually. Uh, and like with you know, the Federation ranking, it's pretty much the same. You get to King and you pretty much top out once you get to Duke. So where's your palace? Where's your kingly palace? You can't build a base. That's not available to us at the moment. At least not in Beyond Chapter 1. And I don't think there's any plans to have player bases in the foreseeable future. So you're basically the king of Imperial space of your ship. Whether that be that Sidewinder or an Imperial Cutter. So, is it an open title? Is it an empty title? Does it afford you any additional benefits? For example, does it get you preferential parking? And by that I mean, you rock up to a space station, there are several people in the queue. You're waiting to dock. Being a king, can you dock before those, before those peasants? You're a king, you should be able to. There should be people saying, over here, sir, come in. Uh, let me take your hat and coat, park your ship over there. Even at space stations where docking can be a relatively easy and quick affair, you can snick in through the aperture and land. If you're one of those people who use docking computers, and I'm not, um, I can fly. Debatable. Then that would give you a quicker route in, being a king. I mean, if you've got all the way to king and you're still using a docking computer, then something, something is up. I mean, but then again, an awful lot of people use docking computers. Do you use a docking computer? Put it in the comments. Anyway, you've got all the way to king. Where are your kingly subjects? You haven't got a realm. You haven't got a palace. You haven't got preferential parking. Where are your subjects? You haven't got any. So you're the king of your ship. And if you get attacked in your ship, then... Who comes to help you out if the fuzz are not available? Wouldn't it be good to have a king guard, a royal guard, that you could press a button, send out a distress beacon, and the, the royal guard swoops in, phoom, as your wingmen. Hasn't got to be anything, you know, too heavy. They could be flying, I don't know, couriers or imperial fighters. That could be dropped in from another ship. Perfectly fine. They launch, they help you out. Your kingly backside is safe once again from those pirates and absurpers. And you're safe. That would be a great benefit of being a king. What about within power play? Being a king in power play. If you pledge yourself, your allegiance, your precious allegiance as a king. Now you're a monarch pledging your allegiance to one of the political factors within Elite Dangerous. Should that give you preferential treatment there? Should you gain higher candor or gain candor quicker? For example, if it takes four weeks of your allegiance to be pledged to somebody to get your hands on a super magic cannon, 
or prismatic shields, for example, then if you're a king, shouldn't you be able to candor that reputation with that lead-in faction quicker? I think so. I think that would be an added benefit. And something that could be implemented quite quickly. I mean, let's face it, the player bases, that's going to take a little bit of time. Um, wingmen, that could be implemented really quickly. Preferential parking, again, that's an algorithm. That can be done really quickly too. So what does being a king actually get you other than a fancy title? Nothing. I think it's an empty, empty title. You don't get preferential missions. That's down to individual faction reputation. In most cases. In some cases it doesn't. I mean, okay, as you go through the ranks, the missions increase in value as you go through the ranks. And you're able to then, like I said, get additional ships. And ships that are presently locked out to the peasants among us. But what's it actually mean? And I think those are probably good questions for Frontier Development and something to go on the forums. Now, I'm sure no one from Frontier is listening to this rant on my channel here. But again, put in the comments if you're still with me. What do you think being a king means to you? To me, it just means at Duke, I got myself a cutter and I can say I'm a king. There's no additional added bonus for it, which happens, I think, to be quite the shame. I mean, in Alliance space, what do you get with Alliance space as well? Once you go to Alliance space and you, you gain favour with the Alliance, you should really be able to kind of higher discount on your ships. That seems to be the Alliance way. But no, all you do is get access to systems you may or may not go to. So being a king, what does that mean to you? So what? Put it in the comments. I'd love to hear your perspective on that sort of thing. If you haven't already done so, can I ask you to click the like and subscribe button and possibly even the notification icon. Now that notification icon will let you know when I'm putting more videos of Elite Dangerous and the like on YouTube. But remember to select receive notifications as well and that way you'll get informed. And we'll have to go looking through all your subscription lists to see if I've put anything up recently. So, I've been Ricardo. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Elite Dangerous, and so you're a king. So what? Thanks for watching. Check back soon, and look out for more videos in the series.